Hey, what's up to everybody out there? Welcome to another edition of the Roundtable Talk. And I am your host, C Money. And in today's episode, we are doing another episode of Hot Spots in South Florida. And today I'm focusing on Festival Flea Market Mall. Um, this is a mall, basically a flea market, but they call it Festival Flea Market Mall. But, you know, to the train the eye, it's a flea market. It is in Pompano Beach, Florida, which is in Broward County. For most of y'all, y'all gonna say Fort Lauderdale, but Pompano Beach is a city. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's a um, very interesting um, place. This is a very nice place. It's a very interesting place. Um, I'm gonna give you a little bit of research. This place opened up in 1991. So it's been around for quite some time you know I did my research before I did it you know most of the times you know I try to do research on certain places and it don't you know I don't get info because a lot of these places you know don't have like info on when they opened up and stuff like that um as you can see outside here because I just arrived outside they do have like on certain days maybe the weekend where they have like outside vendors kind of like the swap shop but Mainly, you know, they have, you know, vendors and stuff like that that comes out. So, this is basically everything. Okay, we're going to go inside. We're going to take a look inside. You know, go shopping. So, this is the reason why they call it the flea market. Because it's set up like a mall for all the stores. The, the location is set up like a mall. But the stores are like flea market stores. So you're getting like flea market stores. One of the places I'm gonna showcase, I'll showcase you in a little bit, is a new place that opened up here, which is part of why we're here for hot spots in South Florida. I'm just not gonna go through the whole mall, I'm just gonna go through partial of the mall. You know, you know, like, you know. So we're gonna go down the food court. What makes this mall interesting that they have their own like supermarket like well the supermarket that was here you know the first time uh, like a couple of months ago like last year I should say I visited here like maybe two or three times and the supermarket they had has changed uh, you know drastically like they changed the name you know so um this is a dollar store you know that's what i say a lot of these it's like a mall setting but you know you get it as if you know like you're in a flea market but it's an inside mall but the stores are set up like flea market like the stores on the outskirts like this is a shoe store are set up like mall stores but the inside the, the, the middle stores, the stores that's in the middle are set up like flea market stores. So, and the one thing that's more popular about this is that they have a food court, which is where we're going to now. Now, if you've ever been here, you know that, you know, they only had one restaurant that was basically a um, known chain restaurant which is no longer here if you see where this is at right here that's where Subway used to be the last time oh and they even have a performer oh wow I mean I've never really been here on a weekend to see that they had a performer um, Subway used to be here which was the only um known business all of these are like mom and pop businesses and stuff um i go here to all-star pizza which is one of my favorite places because they you know i get my cow zones from here my favorite place. i love getting my cow zones from here you know this is a nice place that you can go buy nice thing um interesting of this place this 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 market i mean Market Mall also has an as seen on TV store. If you don't know what that is, it's a store based on, you know, a lot of the products that you see on TV, 
and then you see them sometimes in Walgreens and Walmart they have and then they have it on their packages as seen on TV like the little infomercials or and commercials about these products they actually have two of the stores here that is called as seen on TV stores where they sell nothing but as seen on TV products meaning all of the products that they send in the store as seen on TV so it's it's interesting um, I don't know if we're gonna come up on any one of them because they're probably on the other end of the flea market mall so we're probably not gonna see it we're gonna take a trip back to where we came from because there's a oh there it is there's one of the as seen on TV products TV products plus that's one of the stores there's another one that sits as an actual store on this side of the thing but it's probably on, it's further I think it's further back down so you won't be able to see it what we're going to be coming up is this is what makes this a versatile place because it's for everybody you know while the parents are shopping the kids can actually go to a place called Planet Revo now Planet Revo opened up just a few years ago it was it's not it hasn't been opened long so don't think of it as oh it's been open since so it's a fun center basically i'm going to take you on the inside and i've i've played here not many games but you know Y'all gotta excuse me for a minute. I'm trying to get my Planet Revo card. I do have a card here. Planet Revo opened up a few years ago. Not long. So it hasn't been in business that long. If you are a person who lives in Pompano or has been in this area, it hasn't been here long. As you can see, there's not many games here. And you know, there's not much to do, but they they do have a lot of they do have some activities. And I believe you could probably host host you know, do a party here because they do have party rooms. Um, so this is a place where you can the kids can go and they can play video games while you're shopping and stuff. I basically come here for the bargains. And at the end of the mall, there's an antique shop which I'm going to probably show you in a minute you know there's like an antique mall it's called the Hillsborough Antique Mall if I'm not mistaken I'm going to show you it oh well actually while we're here let's go to it we'll come back to Planet Revo well I'll come back to Planet Revo by the time this show will be over it'll probably be time for I'll, you know I probably won't have enough time to come back to Planet Revo but this is Planet Revo um when I first came, I came in to try to experience this as a game room, and I said, it's kind of nice, it looks okay, you know, it looks decent, but it's, you know, somewhere where you can take your kids at while you're shopping here at the Festival Flea Market Mall. It's not a bad mall, you know, in place. Um, I visited a while back, but I recently visited a few times because, you know, it's a place where, you know, see why I said it's not open to people, and they have a little spot where you can you know, massage yourself or get massages. Okay, this is a discount store. This is where I go buy some of my products from. Um, let the glow in the dark fun begin. That's what make Planet Revo what it is because it's like when you go inside, it's more of a dark theme. And it's, you know, how you go into most fun places, you know, they're lit up and stuff like that. It's more of a dumb thing, so that's good. The New York Pickle Company. Um, this is a place that I've always wanted to try, even though I'm not a fan of pickles, but they have, like, different brands of pickles. Horseradish pickles, garlic pickles, sour pickles, half sour pickles, hot pickles. They have different types of pickles. Now, this is what I was telling you about. It's called the Antique... Here's where an antique mall. It's basically a mall, like an antique mall. 
for antiques and stuff. Which is not bad. Which is not bad. You know? There's a lot of businesses you see in here. Natural juice bar, the ice cream parlor. You know, you see a lot of these things in here. So you, you basically, you, 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 you see, oh, I don't know. I think this is one big authentic Chanel, Hermes, Louis Vuitton. I think this is just one big antique place. And then you could just have one like checkout area. It's not like three or four antique stores in one. It's just like one big antique place. Okay, now we're gonna go back into Planet Vivo. Um, why don't I walk around a, a little bit in the mall to get in? It's like there's a place, a bedding store where you can, you know, look at beds and purchase beds. No. There's a Salon and spa right there to my left. I mean, we came across the area. I don't know. I'm sorry, I had to mush stream cap off my shoes. But there's a lot of interesting little snack places. This is called Snow Queen Ice Cream. Um, Bronx luggage. Here's the as seen on TV store. That's the little mini one. They have a bigger one there. Um, I, my mom had bought some stuff from here. The first time I actually came here was years ago, and I ended up buying maybe a charger or something from a charging store or something like that. And it was, you know, yeah, you know, I go in the dollar store. Now this dollar store is fun because they have like a rubber chicken that make noise. And I always be scaring the, scaring the customers and my mom be like, stop it. And, you know, and when I take my mom here and she's like, stop it. Because my mom likes to go here because, you know, she gets stuff here for like discount prices and stuff like that. You know, it's like a flea market, but basically it's like a flea market turned into a mall. We're going to go and... No, I'm not gonna go too far because I know I'm probably gonna have to go back to Planet Weevil. You know, because most of my hot spots in South Florida is based off of entertainment, and Planet Weevil is one of the entertainments. We're passing the food court again, which is to the left of us. You know, and on the end of this mall, if you actually go outside and go to the west end of the mall, there's a Dollar Tree, which is not associated with the mall. It's just outside to the west of uh, the festival. There's a Glam Cosmetic and Fragrances store, which is right there. Okay, we're coming up on the other. Actually, there's three of them. Wow, I didn't know that there was actually three of them. because this is the as seen on TV in the middle, but the actual store is right here, as seen on TV, TV Products Plus, which is another as seen on TV store. And this is where you can buy, you know, majority of the as seen on TV. Hmm. And here they have different types of masks. If you wanna, um, this is a clothing store, but they sell different types of masks. I may get one. I may get one. I'm in need of a new mask. So I may get one. But it has to be something simple, you know, work purposes. But I may get one, you know. And they sell masks here inside the luggage place too. You know, but these more of a women mask. You know, you can get everything here. You know. This is not just for... You know, one person, they got a place called Shoe Frenzy. 
This is a shoe store glow. Ah, earlier I mentioned um, store liquidation. That means the store must be closing or it might be having a sale. I mentioned earlier about that store. It's called La Hacienda Kosher Grocery, which is a grocery store. Now, when I first came to this store, it was different. It was, I believe, another name. And I actually liked it. You know, they had different, you know, they had a meat department. I think they had a deli department. It's not a big grocery store. What it was is that they had stuff, you know, they actually had, you know, some, some good things. I bought some chicken noodle soup there that was homemade chicken noodle soup. I was like, ooh, homemade chicken noodle soup and everything. Um, basically, and they have their own shopping carts. And the shopping carts is very nice. They're not nice, nice, but you know, what I'm trying to say is you can actually use the shopping carts to shop the entire store because you know most places they'll be like oh you can only use the shopping carts in the grocery store no people actually use the shopping carts to go shopping throughout the whole flea market which is in we have came to the end this is a furniture store called galaxy furniture this is a cosmetics depot we have came to the end of the flea market and at the end of the flea market there's like a scooter and place where you can buy it, scooter chairs and you know mm, stuff like this and all that so we're gonna turn around we're gonna go back and we're gonna go down one of the other aisles I mean a brief walk in this place you can actually you know be in here and you can walk through this place and it will take you absolutely if you're walking, probably 30 minutes of walking time. I'm gonna go down one of the middle aisles because on this side, see on the, I would say, you see they have a therapeutic massage place. You can get a therapeutic massage. Ooh. Hello. They have a therapeutic massage place. Basically, on the south end of the flea market. I do have a plan. Most of the stores are like mall type stores. But on the north end of the flea market, you have most of the stores that are basically flea market type stores. You can see how these are called booths. But when you go on there, South side of the food store, the food court and everything else is there. Basically, those are actual stores. So that's why they call it a festival flea market mall because you have mall like stores and flea market like booths here. You know? Which is not bad. You know, because this is where a lot of people like to shop in Pompano. You know, and this is where a lot of people like to go. And even people like me, I'm from Miami. I come up here from time to time and shop. So it's not a bad thing. So, you know, and I'm, sometimes I bring my mom, you know, and I, you know, when I want to get a chance to explain. This is, you know, a lot of these stores, you know, are just like flea market stores. They're like main brand. Like I told you, the only store that was basically in here that was, you know, a chain was Subway. But when I started coming back here, last year or so subway was gone like when i came here years ago subway was there but when i came back subway was gone because to me this is um kind of a journey for me but i'm used to a games and more there's a games and more shop where i guess they have you know like little games for kids and stuff and maybe toys and stuff so i'm gonna keep walking down there this is i believe one of the entrances this is the entrance to the food court. I didn't come in on this entrance, but we're gonna go down. They have a kitchen store where you can decorate your kitchen. See, they have everything. It's, this is this is an interesting uh, florist shop. You know, they have a lot of stuff in here. Um, like I said, if the kids get bored, you can take them to Planet Revo, 
you know, and there's social distancing, you know. See, they got stuff here. I see, you know, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of things that you can buy in this place. This place is everything from furniture to clothing to hats to masks to antiques to a lot of this stuff that you could get. And, you know, there's a shoe store. You know, a lot of these places you can actually come in here and you can actually get some stuff in here, you know. Hello. Uh, maybe later. You know, they have two, you know, therapeutic massage location. I may get a massage. It's a possibility. I'm at the end. Well, not the end. This is where I came in at. So now I'm going to go back to Planet Revo. And we're going to walk around Planet Revo. See, like I told you, it didn't take me long to walk this mall and basically you can walk this in less than 30 minutes i ended up walking to the north end and back went inside planet vivo and still came out i went to the north end of the east end of the mall went in planet vivo went to the west end of the mall told the line came back and ooh, we're still in 20 minutes so Basically, it's saying that you can get, you can walk this place in less than 30 minutes if you're just walking, and depending on your walking. Now, this is Planet Vivo. They do have a, a game area, a gaming area, which is here and here, and over there as well in the back. And that is over there, that's the gaming, not the gaming room, but that's where. You can have a birthday party. As you can see, somebody setting up a birthday party for them. There's not many games here. It's not many games. It's not as stuff. It's just something that people can do here, you know, while you're shopping. You can come here for a shopping experience. I'm gonna check my balance on my card, which is probably low. Let me check the balance on my card. I have seven play points. Whoops. So, um, I'll read on the day. So, this is interesting. I played here a few times, and it's not bad. It's not a bad place. It's not a bad thing. So, I played at Planet Enjoy. Um, and I love the Festival Flea Market Mall because they have a variety of stores and places you can play. And, I mean, to shop at and enjoy yourself. I'm sorry if you can't hear me with all the loud noise, but I'm sitting down, so I'm sitting here. Um, you know, of course, I'm going to go to All Star Pizza and get me something to eat after I record this show. Um, this is one of the places that I very rarely, frequently visit. But I come up here when I have the time because, like I said, this is in Broward County. And this is in Palm Beach, Florida. I mean, not Palm Beach, I'm sorry, Pompano Beach, Florida. And I very rarely, rarely visit up here, but when I do, I come up here for the bargains, and I also come up here to enjoy my life, you know, because this is one of the places that I find out of the way that's interesting. You know, like I say, with hot spots in South Florida, I try to find places that interest me, and I try to find places that I see that, you know, you know, new spots to go to like i've been to dave and busters and boomers and you know those those are some of my favorite hot spots and stuff you know so i've been to you know I, there's places that i go to on the regular but planet vivo the festival flea market mall you know shopping and all that these are the places that i rarely go to because it's out of regardless if i'm driving taking the train bus public transportation whatever it is it's still out of my way it's not like it's around the corner from me like how Dave and Buster's and 
you know, stuff like that, just like with Boomers, you know, when I did the segment on Boomers, that's in Boca Raton, Florida, which is in Palm Beach County. That's for the north of me. So, you know, I don't go there as often, but when I do, you know, I go and I try to enjoy everything.